Hello and welcome. My name is Fawad and I will be teaching you how you can code in Python. First of all, I would like to tell you that what is a Python? Python is a general purpose programming language. General purpose mean that it can be used in any subject. It can be used to build software all around in all the domains. It is a high level programming language. It is a strong abstraction from the machine learning, from the machine code. It emphasizes on the code readability. It is a high level programming language. So the importance of this Python language is that it is used in various fields nowadays in robotics, in the design of machine learning algorithm, in the design of deep learning models the deep learning neural network models that are used in various field can be built within this programming language it is fast like unlike other programming languages it is very fast it can quickly execute moreover the, the gpus can be integrated with this programming language and we can use a gpu to process the code quickly and with a highly accurate results can be obtained by using this programming language in today's lecture the first thing that you should learn is that what type of compiler you can adopt like in this programming language you will need a gpu and a high quality ram so if these two things are not available with you then what you will do so the main problem is that which type of compiler that is online available that you should use in order to get all the resources which are required for this programming language so first of all i will like to show you that how you can use this uh, online compiler so google colab is one of the online compiler which is available and you can use it easily quite easily so this is the google collab when you click on this uh, new notebook you will see such an interface within this interface you can see that there are various sort of things so the first thing I will tell you that this is the icon of the Google Colab and you can use the drive which is located within your Google account I am using my Google account you will have to locate a drive where you want to store the code which you have built This is a playground and new notebook. You can create a new notebook. You will go and shift into the new page where you will have to write a code. So there are also editing options available. Like if I write over here, print. So if I execute this line of code, so I will press this play button and the code will get executed. Before I run this code, I need to initialize my PC and I have to assign uh, some resources. So the RAM and disk have been assigned to this Python version and if you click on this link the code will get executed and you will see the result if I have to write some other code like I am going to write x is equal to 2 
if x is equal to 1 then print run the code else print do not run the code if I run this code you will see that you can find the error over here let's say that else is an invalid syntax so I will have to remove this else there is another thing in the thing which you have to note in the python coding that indentation is very important in the python coding if you indent something in a wrong way then the code will give you some error so the indentation is very important i'm writing the code in the wrong way so you may note the other sort of mistakes let's say that there is another error so I will remove this uh, else from here and I will remove the end and you can see that the indentation is very important so you can see that when I have written the if condition and I have given a one tape space and I have written something else so it will be executed if the value of x is equal to 1 when I have removed the space so it comes with the else portion of the conditional statement the if condition will be satisfied with the one tab space within the instruction and if I remove the one tab space then what happen is the other portion of the code will get executed if I switch it into one then you can see that this portion of the code will get executed and it will tell me that run the code so this is the if condition the if condition the code of the if condition get executed when i have uh, created one tab space and i have changed the value of uh, x from one to from two to one if i change it back into three then only this the other line of code which is within the else portion which is uh, uh, not within the else portion but it is uh, outside the conditional statement it will get executed so this is just uh, only to tell you that how you can run the code uh, within the within the Cole, google colleague compiler I will tell you the detailed set of instructions that are used in the python coding and you can you will learn that how you can create array how you can use these conditional statements how you can debug the error errors within the code and how you can assign the gpus and you can increase the size of the ram and many things more i will tell you in detail so it was just an introductory section about the Google Colab compiler. I will meet you in the next uh, video.